A baseball is family, man. As a team, too, organization. So I got a lot of people behind, support me. You know what? Uh, my teammates, the team, um, the opponents, uh, guys, they always uh, come to me and send me a text. And, and then, you know, it feels, it feels great to have that support. Even better when you have that from your family. Even uh, from day one to now, my wife, she's been, you know, telling me every day, this is nothing for you. This is nothing. Nothing is over. Just put yourself. And that's that's what it did. I think that's the key to the whole the whole thing. Series finale. The Rays have handed it to the Tribe in the first two games. They need a win, and it won't be easy. Big imposing Charlie Morton on the hill, an explosive fastball and a very good breaking ball. And a cut and a miss. Finally got him with a fastball. And the field shifts to the right side. Morton's pitch curve, swung him and missed. Strike three. The slow curveball in Santana, well out in front. And that retires the Indians here in the first inning. Well, taking them out this afternoon for the Cleveland Indians is going to be right-hander Adam Plutko making his 15th start of the season. Little popper down the left field side toward the line. That's going to fall in a base hit. Bowers falls on the bullpen mound. And into second goes Meadows with a double. Bowers not accounting for that slope and tripped right over the mound. Now the cleanup hitter, G-Man Choi, who's had a good weekend. Line drive. Oh, what a catch by Freeman! They try to double him off at second, and somehow Meadows just did get back in time, but that was a game saver right there early on by Mike Freeman. Two gone. Here's Wendell. Line drive, base hit, center field. Wendell trying to drive home Meadows. Here's the throw, and it hit the oh my goodness! It hit stats so no chance to get the runner Meadows as he scores and Tampa takes a one nothing lead he runs right into the ball and I'll tell you what that ball was coming back it looked like it was on line the Indians have two on one out with the Rays up one nothing here now is Jake Bowers there's a ball hit well deep center field Kiermaier back won't get it it's gonna one hop the fence and go over for a ground rule double another tough break for the tribe here in the inning but they do tie the game as Bowers gets his 16th double of the year. So two down Santana at first game tied at one and the batter is Yasiel Puig. The one two pitch swing and a miss. He struck him out. Puig goes down swinging and Morton works a quiet third. One on two outs for Nate Lowe. Oh there's a shot off the bat of Nate Lowe. Oops. Well tagged and gone. Nate Lowe with home run number six. A two run shot. He gives the Rays a three to one lead here on the fourth. Darno will hit against Perez. Darno will get the chance to pinch hit here with runners at first and second, one out. That's yet. Right center field. No one gets it. Short hops the wall. Sogard scores. Here comes Tommy Pham. Throw to the plate. He is safe at the plate. The Indians will challenge the play at the plate. Does he get to the arm to the home play before Plowaki could get him? Tough to tell right there, but we will find out. Oh, they got it. Overturned. I'll tell you what, way to go. <laughs> Bottom of the seventh inning. And Carlos Carrasco making his return to the mound here. He'll have the top of the order. Cookie has been out since early June when he was diagnosed with leukemia. And the Tampa players are all out on the top step of the dugout giving him a standing ovation. I think Cookie's a little bit emotional right now. And Lindor is just trying to make sure he stays focused on the job at hand. A swing and a little dribbler to first. How about that? Bobbled again by Santana. Recovers, flips to Carrasco. First major league hitter he faces in his comeback. He gets on a ground up. There are stories that do supersede all of those goals and dreams and hopes and wishes. And those are the ones that affect what matters most. And obviously with what Carrasco has been through, those players all identify his struggles. And they're just happy to see him back. Two on, two out. Jazz Rowe, the new pitcher for Tampa. Ground ball shortstop. Adamas up with it. Throw to first. And a scoop over there by Darno. So with one out, the Rays do put together a threat. 
And a little looper into center field. That's going to drop for a base hit, getting Kiermaier home. And the Rays do add a run. It's now 6 2. Liner into right. That ball's going to drop. Puig retreats to play it on a hop. Lowe's going to score. There's another run across the plate. 7 2. There's a liner, and that baby's going to drop for a base hit. Here comes another man in to score. Zanino crosses the plate. It's 8 to 2. Ricardo Pinto is coming on to pitch for Tampa Bay as we go to the ninth inning. Two strike pitch again. Ground ball right side. Adamas with the throw, and that's going to take care of this one. The Rays are winners. Three up and three down in the ninth inning. Rays win this one eight to two. They sweep the Cleveland Indians.